It's been almost three years since the WAG drama of the century unraveled and captured the attention of the nation. After millions of pounds spent in lawyers' fees and a dramatic trial, the world will soon finally find out who has won the so-called Wagatha Christie libel case. The long-awaited verdict is due a day after two of the UK's biggest footballers' wives, Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Vardy, took their rivalry to court in May 2022. Vardy is attempting to sue Rooney for libel after Colleen accused her of leaking fake stories about her that she had purposely posted to her private Instagram account. The accusations have been strongly denied by Vardy, but in the explosive court case Rooney argued that her post about the leaks was substantially true. As the saga will soon finally come to an end, Here's everything you need to know about the Wagatha Christie case and how it got its name. What is the meaning of Wagatha Christie? Wagatha Christie refers to an explosive 2019 celebrity scandal that enthralled the nation. Colleen Rooney, who is the wife of footballer Wayne Rooney, accused Rebecca Vardy, wife of footballer Jamie Vardy, of leaking private stories about her to the British press. Rooney made the public accusation after an intense investigation that she detailed on Twitter. She explained that she had been growing suspicious that someone from her personal Instagram had been passing on stories to The Sun, so decided to do her own digging into who it could be. Colleen launched a sting operation that saw her make up fake stories, post them to her private Instagram and restrict who could see the stories to narrow down the likely culprit. The fake stories made their way into the press and, in a dramatic reveal of the leak, Colleen famously claimed it's Rebecca Verdi's account. The shocking scandal took the internet by storm and quickly went viral, and Rooney's detective work led to her being Brandon Wagatha Christie. The term is a play on words that is a mashup of the famous detective writer Agatha Christie and the acronym WAG, which stands for Wives and Girlfriends of Famous Footballers. While originally being used as nickname for Colleen, the term is now commonly used to refer to the entire case. Who coined the term Wagatha Christie? The Wagatha Christie name quickly caught on and ended up going viral on Twitter at the time, too. There were many posts using the phrase at the time but it seems that the original mind behind the witty pun was comedian Dan Atkinson. Roughly 45 minutes after Colleen went live with her sensational accusation, Atkinson tweeted four words, Colleen Rooney. W. Agatha Christie. Sign then, the tweet has had over 20,000 likes and 3,000 retweets. Users love the joke and it's gone on to become the common phrase used when talking about the scandal. Writing about its popularity for The Guardian, Atkinson said, some reactions were, in my opinion, over-enthusiastic. Someone said I should be knighted. Another said they would legit marry whoever came up with Wagatha Christie. One recommended I should be made Prime Minister, but I think recent events have demonstrated that electing a PM purely on the basis of finding them amusing can be unwise, 